Sean Tom. So count one charges racketeering conspiracy and the indictment alleges that Sean Combs, along with others who are not charged, but others ran an enterprise, an operation, essentially a business that engaged in a series of crimes. Here, those crimes relate to sex trafficking. In fact, the indictment names the racketeering enterprise, the Combs enterprise. That's the title that they gave the enterprise. So that's count one. Now, count two is charges sex trafficking by force, fraud, or coercion, meaning that Sean Combs participated in transporting women across state lines for illegal sexual purposes by force or by threats or by intimidation. That is an extraordinarily serious charge. If the prosecution can prove that, the minimum sentence there, if they convict Sean Combs on that, is 15 years and the maximum is life. 15-year minimum sentence. And then count three charges transportation of another individual to engage in prostitution. It's sort of a lesser included of count two. So we've got a three-count indictment, racketeering, sex trafficking by force, and then interstate transportation for the purpose of prostitution. It's a very serious indictment. These charges are extremely serious. The Southern District of New York does cases like this. They do cases against powerful, famous individuals all the time. And soon Sean Combs will be in court and he will certainly plead not guilty to this. And then we'll be underway with the proceedings. So just a litany of charges there. Of course, Combs himself has said all along that he is not guilty. His attorney indicated that he is planning to fight these charges. But you go back and look. This is really interesting, Jim, at how Sean Combs originally responded to these civil suits whenever they came out. They essentially went after the women who were making these allegations. At one point saying at least one of them was someone who was just looking for a quick payday. That all changed when CNN broke exclusively that footage of Sean Combs in a hotel here in Los Angeles physically assaulting his former girlfriend. And then we saw his tone start to change a little bit. He came out with an apology. Again, that stands in stark contrast to how aggressive his team was towards these women. And all behind the scenes, it's important to note that there's this agency that may not be a household name, but it's HSI, Homeland Security Investigations. It's an arm of the Department of Homeland Security. They specialize in human trafficking. They looked into these allegations and indicated there is a federal crime that's been committed here. And now we're seeing this indictment. They allege multiple crimes. You know, it's interesting. We've been reporting all along based on those original allegations, which law enforcement sources tell us actually spurred this investigation. He was accused of obviously serious crimes, including sex trafficking, including drugging women. And now we're seeing federal investigators actually bring criminal charges. What they allege in this indictment is that, you know, we're all familiar with Sean Combs media enterprise. But they're essentially saying that his enterprise existed for his own sexual gratification. And you had all of these staff members that were there essentially assisting him in this effort to include members of the security team, members of his household staff, other employees. And as we look through this indictment, again, that was just unsealed, I want to read you one portion which lays out this slew of allegations. They say in this indictment that members and associates of the Combs enterprise engaged in and attempted to engage in, among other activities, sex trafficking, forced labor, interstate transportation for purposes of prostitution, coercion and enticement to engage in prostitution, narcotics offenses, kidnapping, and sexual assault. Those are the allegations. Those are the allegations. Thank you, Mr. Bernstein. Thank you, Mr. Bernstein.